Hi everybody, I'm Rockin' Robin. Today's episode, I'm gonna show you how to make orange chicken in a crock pot. Now this is perfect for any day of the week. You know, you pop it in the crock pot first thing in the morning and when you get off work and get home, dinner is practically ready for you. And it smells wonderful in the kitchen too. So this recipe has a nice little Asian flair to it. I'm gonna be using some fresh ginger and some soy sauce. And then when we serve it up, I'll be serving it over some rice. So don't go away. I'm coming right back right after this to show you how to do it. Let's get started by going over our ingredients. All right, we're gonna need some chicken thighs with this. I happen to have boneless, skinless, but you can certainly use bone in. But you do wanna remove the skin on the chicken thighs because it'll just make your sauce really greasy. So make sure you do that. We'll need some orange juice. I've got freshly squeezed orange juice here. I've got some orange marmalade right here. Here's some coconut milk. And for those of you that don't like coconut, you could always substitute whole milk for that. And then here I have some cornstarch, which we're gonna to use to kind of thicken up the sauce a bit. We need some soy sauce, which I have right here. And here I have some minced garlic, that's fresh garlic, some chopped up onion, and here's our ginger. I, I chopped up some ginger. And what you wanna do with the ginger is, or an easy way to do it, is to take your ginger root and take your spoon, take a, the back of a spoon and just scrape off the part that you wanna cut and use and then just cut off about an inch or so and then mince it up until it's nice and fine. The first thing we wanna do is combine most of our ingredients. I'm gonna put them in this bowl here. So I'm gonna add the orange juice and the marmalade, everything to the bowl. That's what I love about this recipe. It's just one pot deals, you know, it's just so simple. Combine everything, put it in the crog pot and forget about it. You gotta love that. Here's our coconut milk the garlic, the ginger, and the soy sauce. All right, so we'll combine this. Use a whisk. It takes a few minutes to get that marmalade to mix in. Now, I wanna add the cornstarch to this, but I don't wanna, I wanna make sure that I mix that first with some cold water. So I'll place the cornstarch in a separate bowl I'm going to use cold milk, cold water, whatever you're going to mix it with so that it doesn't clump up. And I'm going to add just enough of cold water here just to make it uh, mix in. Once it's dissolved, I'm going to add it to the sauce. That looks good. All right, so now I'll just pour it in and whisk it into the sauce. And like I said, that's going to help give this a little more body, thicken it up a little bit. Now we're ready to toss everything into the crock, crock pot. Okay, so the first thing we wanna put in here, I'm just gonna to toss the onions in the bottom. Place the chicken on top of that. I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of salt to the top of the chicken. And then all we have to do is pour our sauce on top. Now you have a couple options here. You can put it on low or high. I'm gonna put it on high and that will cook on high in about three and a half hours, three to four hours, somewhere in there. If you want it to go longer, let's say you're at work all day, you put it on low and you can let it go, you know, six to eight hours. So my chicken is done. It's been cooking now for three and a half hours. Being that these were skinless and boneless, they don't take quite as long to cook. And actually, you know, you can see in here that um, there's enough sauce in here that we could have probably put in quite a few more uh, chicken thighs. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and serve this up. So what I did is I like to serve it up on rice. So you can use brown or white rice, whatever you want. And I have some green beans here already, as you can probably see. And that's, I have a video for that as well. So go ahead and check that out if you're interested. Those are yummy, yummy. They're um, beans that have some caramelized onions and uh, some salt and garlic and um, some almonds on top so they're really good too all right so with our chicken got my bed there of rice and i'm just gonna place some chicken right on top and of course the sauce is really where it's at this has a nice beautiful citrusy flavor to it 
So I'm gonna put that on there, let that rice soak up that juice. And I tell you, this is so nice when you get home from work and dinner is ready. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a bite. Oh man, the, ten the chicken is just fork tender. Hardly need a knife to um, cut it up. Boy, that's nice and yummy. I tell you, if you have a craving for some orange chicken in a healthy version, this one fits the bill, so check it out. Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure and subscribe to my channel, and if you have any ideas for new recipes for me to make, leave your comments, leave it in the comments below. Thanks for watching, take care, bye.